Boys soccer now in an all-Western Buckeye League district final at Elida. St. Mary's league champs face off with Grand Lake rival Salina. Two teams tied at one in their regular season meeting over a month ago. Led by WBL Player of the Year Zach Nelson, Rough Rider shut out OG in the semifinals 2-0, while Salina outscored Wapak 5-2 to advance to tonight's rematch at the Elida Middle School. Hunter Murphy is the golden megaphone to the Rough Riders. Enjoying Lee Kinsel fans of the week status this week. Dakota McVeigh wins the battle for the ball, sends a light shot on net. Brandon Kahn there to scoop it up for the save. Ryan Hoeing with the ball now. Shifty moves, creates space, passes to Cortland Elking. Ball to flex off the St. Mary's keeper in the back of the net. Senior gets the Bulldogs on the scoreboard early on in tonight's contest. More great passing from Salina. Shot on goal by Peyton Smalley, but Stuart Yall is there for the save. And then the WBL Player of the Year, Nelson shoots. Con deflects it, ball hits off the post, dances along the goal line. Finally, Hank Toby able to clear it, and St. Mary's couldn't capitalize. Throw in by Eric Mater, sends the pass to Nick Marks. Marks the header, but Stuart Yall is there for the save. Second half, still a 1-0 advantage for Salina. St. Mary's attacking, get ahead on it, but over the cage. And Salina able to get the victory, 1-0 the final. First ever regional appearance for the Salina Bulldogs as coach Ryan Jenkins impressed with his team's defense in the win over St. Mary's. Defense played well. Um, we, we tried to uh, not get beat on the end line, which we did a couple times and it got dangerous. Um, we tried to try to force them to go back and just tried to give them a little bit of space and try to keep keep their speed intact. Um, and the defense just kind of stepped up. Second half, the ball was down on our end a little bit more than what we would like, um, but we we're still able to keep that zero up there. So Salina will play next week. In fact, next Wednesday at Finley as they will take on Napoleon. Wildcats getting the 3-0 victory over Bowling Green this evening to advance in the upper half of the bracket.